I don't know what the right play. I know the fun play is to Molotail here. What's the right play, though? Alright, let's go for funsies. I don't even care. <laughs> Sometimes I just don't care. Give me something good. Cool bean! Cool bean! And we got re we got what the heck is this? We got <laughs> We got two We got Cool Bean and then we got two Gatling peas here. What just happened? What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today I want to experiment with this deck. This has so much potential. Uh, it is a combination between a Pine Clone deck, Pine Clone Molecule, of course, you can turn your Pine Clones uh, into 5 cost minions, um, and the Fuller Throttle Ramp deck we've been doing with Solar Flare. The idea is in the early game is just complete ramp, which means you're trying to get as much sun uh, as you can every single turn and then there's a several things you can do at that point sometimes you can turn all these little sunflowers just into pine clones you can get these pine clones out pretty early too uh, because you're going to be making all this extra sun which is a really awesome strategy it has worked uh, very well in the past and then you can turn those into molecules and just kick their tuchas because on turn four you can have all these five drop cards on the field really good strat uh, otherwise you can ramp up to uh, control them a little bit with the briar rose uh, also extremely good with all these flowers uh, and eventually use your late game cards uh, you know getting them in early because you're ramping up and uh, take over the game with them I really would like to see Molokale buffing up either Cobb Cannon or Colonel Corn. these these cards both have active abilities so you can destroy a zombie or nerf some zombies up this one just like a field clear and then it takes this and will turn this automatically into a great zucchini it'll turn this either into like a soul patch Grapes of Wrath. There's only a few cards that actually cost seven on the plant side. Uh, so I would like to see that happen. It seems like this deck has a lot of potential. I've been using it recently. I want to. I, I recently just removed the fourth Pine Clone. It seems to be a little bit of a liability to have too many of these. Uh, so I added in a, a back, uh, the, you know, one Cornucopia just as a, as a great finisher. And Cornucopia definitely works well in this deck. Let's see if we can make this work. Here it is. It's the Ramp Molecule deck. If we can make this work, which you might see me actually make a whole bunch of little adjustments throughout today this could be so powerful this has so much potential i know this is i'm running no shroom for two i i actually was considering putting shroom for two in this deck i still could put it happens to be the little sunflowers are are basically as good as shroom for two because they help you get your your pine clones early i'm since i took out one pine clones so i'm only running three i didn't want to start clogging this 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 with shroom for two but one of our powers is more spores which is kind of like shroom for two all right, we have three ramp cards. Usually you want two ramp cards early. This is horrible against the Morticious. We're getting rid of that. Uh, the best thing to get is a Briar Rose and a, and a Cob Cannon. I think this is not... I don't think this is right. Okay, we're going to keep this. It's going to be a little bit slow in the early game to get a great power, which is Weed Whack. I'd love to start off with Super sometime, but... Yeah. I don't think the scorecard today... It, look, I'm going to play with this deck until we lose, I guess. The scorecard's not going to be able to represent much, I think, because... Ooh, do we go with this? I think we do, actually. I think we go with you. And we're going to Weed Whack and then play this next turn. So we're going to kind of profit off of the one extra sun. The one extra sun gives us a great turn three play, as you can see here. Start making some sunflowers. Yeah, this deck is really expensive. There's I Besides for all the legendaries we had, I added now Pine... This deck is mostly legendary, actually. Is it? We have, what, 16, 20 legends, half legendary. <laughs> That's probably probably. All right, so we always weed whack. Well, actually, we don't have to weed whack yet. We could actually go with Sunflower. I think that's what I'm going to do. Havana, Unana. I'll weed whack this after. Oh, no, he can play the ghost now. And take out this. Um, uh, maybe that was stupid. Well, actually, this is turn. Wait, no, this will be turn three, and we'll be making you no, know, just five sun. Ah, uh, that was probably a stupid play. I shouldn't have played the sunflower. I should have held on to it. I should have weed whacked this instead. Oh, that's good. This is a great pickup. Now we'll actually be able to get the cop gun out next turn. It's probably gonna not. Nah, no ghost, really. Why didn't he play Dead Ghost? He's gonna acid rain. That's okay. Well, it doesn't make sense. Acid rain's not good against us because one of these sunflowers is gonna come back. It's acid raining against one card. 
This deck is too weak to weed spray? No, it's not. The early game, had our, there's four cards that are weed sprayable. First of all, the one that are coming out of this, there's really three weed sprayable cards in this deck. And then weed spraying, usually you're not committing too bad. You can pine clone these cards if you feel like you're going to get weed sprayed. You just have to play smart, and you're not going to have issues. That happens. I need to nerf this one. He's, give, he's leaving my sunflowers. He's ramping and all kinds of garbage here. I actually don't have to destroy this. We are in great shape here. Ooh, now what do we do? Havana, ooh, na, na. Na, 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 To replace this, to destroy that one, here we do. We're probably gonna, gonna buff this cob cannon next turn. I believe this is the play. We cover this one. It'll keep this. We really could not cover it. That dies. Destroy this one. We'll get another sunflower now. So we're making seven. It would be really nice to get a, get a, a three drop or something. Who knows? Too bad our our little sun is gone. Ugh, that environment. We're making. I believe it's seven. He's our opponent's down to five. By the way, we're just killing him. We got seven. Ooh, Molokel. There you go. It's gonna be Molokel this turn. We're gonna Molokel. This will either turn into Grapes of Wrath or into, um... Be so nice to Molokel, Molokel here. Then this will probably turn into a Cop Cannon or something like that. Let's do this. I believe the most damage in lane one is good. Let's see what we get. This either turns into Soul Patch or Grapes of Wrath. Is there anything else that costs seven? Soul Patch, okay. <laughs> I'll take it! This is... This is not bad. This, these are the two twos that we got with this Molokil. Yeah, there's definitely an, a huge RNG factor in this deck. I like the three Pine Clones. I'm happy I did that. Wow! Drawing cards is so slow here. That is so incredibly slow. Look at this Soul Patch, too. This thing's a beast. We can Molokil this up and actually make this into an 8-drop. So again, there's three 8-drops, I believe. There's... Dragon, <laughs> we could get Dragon, Colonel Corn, or Astro Vera. Astro Vera is the worst one, which will heal us for 10 here, so. Molokel is really good. Let's see if we get a two drop. No. And these are turning into threes. This guy turns into a five. This second Molokel is incredible here, actually. Might be going for a Bad Moon Rising. No, not anymore. Okay, get him, Doke. Get him, Doggy. There we go. <laughs> Come on, Colonel Corn. Clear that field. Let's go. Nailed it. That's another way. Wait, what are we doing? Oh, we're bouncing something? Uh, I'll bounce the Molokale for funsies. <laughs> now we have another Molokale. Oh, now we're going to kill something for funsies. Kill your face. Kill her face. Because face is the place. Nailed it. <laughs> now we have six and six. Going to need a couple beat me ups to get saved here. <laughs> If it would have turned to Dra Dragon, actually, I think might have been better there. I think Dragon actually was better there, because you're right, then our opponent wouldn't be able to play any tricks here. And, um, <laughs> or it just would have healed us to 26 health. Those were the three options, so. Uh, they all basically have the same stance. Dragon, Dragon's, the Dragon is the, is usually going to be the better one. Anyway, yeah, that, that was, that was exactly how this deck was supposed to go. You guys want a great example how it goes? That is how it's done. So, miniature highlight there. <laughs> he actually BM'd himself by increasing the attack of that. I, I really I really like the twos and the threes that we got from the Molokale too. Turning these little sunflowers into two drops and three drops and so on definitely gives you some value. After the, the sunflower, it gives you a little extra sun, which makes you set up this play that you play like two Molokales and stuff like that. Again, I might keep Pine Clone. This is not bad. I'm gonna, oh, sh see, if you keep Pine Clone, I don't think then you keep this. I think you look for a small card again. We're gonna try this out. Let's see if the Smash comes in with the, um, oh, this is gonna be tough. Add Pair of Paradise? Nay. Okay, we don't want that happening. I'm gonna go with you. Our problem's probably gonna drive Fossil Head next turn. It's really sad using Weed Whack on this card, but I really would like to get the Strong Molecule here. Extinction event? Shut up, Time Warp. <laughs> no extinction event. You guys are all running extinction events because I'm running all these Pine Clone decks. 
Okay, I hope this survives. Because if this survives, we'll be making five. We could get three pine clones here. See what happens. Twin Sunflower. I can't believe Twin Sunflower are finally using this. It's with the full throttle ramp. The Twin Sunflower it has synergy with all the other ramp things we're doing. Now, we don't have to blindly pine clone here. Are we going to get weed sprayed or what? I think we spread these so we don't get nerfed with the, with the environment. But it's going to be pine clone. Got this cow can going. Let's kill this before it evolves it. He might have been going for weed spray there. Who even knows what? Who even knows what this guy's doing? He got to 40 with the Conjure Neptune deck. Cool. Oh. Man, flag sound. Been here in a while. Okay, so he's, he protected that. By the way, really, the professional zombie usually works the best in lane 4 because you want all your other professional zombies to get killed first. Uh, this will be five, six, seven. Not yet. Okay. We'll do this next turn and go right into Cab Cannon. Randall Cab Cannon. Okay, so that kills one of our Pine Clones. Again, this Pine Clone is essentially represents a one-cost card, so... Yes, we're, we're doing super well. And what? this 3-1 is even difficult for him to deal with. Primal Twin Sunflower? <laughs> yeah, why not? Let's see how much he commits here. We're gonna try to ramp this turn. I think the ramp is gonna be real. Now we actually don't have a, a place to play this card. Because this 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 absorbs everything, so. Dun, dun. I believe these are valuable. I think this will go behind, and this one will go in front. Can't play this here because the little sunflower will get uh, get swallowed in the frenzy. It's gonna grow a little bit, but we're gonna have a, a good, a really good cap cannon. Wrong stone, that. Okay. Ooh, do we have? Oh, we don't even have the cap cannon. Now, do we? What turn was this? This is turn four. It'll be five, six. Oh man. We could really use a um, cap cannon right now. Seven. Well, Colonel Corn's are coming up maybe next turn. I guess we'll sack this and we'll get a little extra sun, why not? Let it heal, let it heal. So we gotta do this so we can get the sunflower. The sunflower is really, really necessary here. Um, so we'll be able to Colonel Corn this field. Cab uh, Colonel Corn, yeah. So again, we only have two cards, but it's gonna be turn seven, Colonel Corn, turn eight, Colonel Corn, which will. Basically clear his field. The first one's not going to take out this coach. Jeez, everything's going to grow, but they're still dying. They're, everything's still going to die with these, this Colonel Corn here. There's seven, eight. I guess we'll front this. Just kind of play one more card that. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Everything still dies to this. So we're. Well, we don't want to. I mean, we could go phase here. Maybe we want to go face. Let this block us. We'll go face, and we'll finish this off with Copcan next turn. We're, we're gonna. We have the block. We have the luxury of the block here. I think this is actually what we're gonna do. We're gonna go face. Hit him with six, and then three. This is a really strong play. You're seeing again a, a different version of exactly how this deck is supposed to go. Again, we have the full block meter. That's why I'm letting him do the big hit. This is not gonna grow, of course. We can protect this with another one of another sports coach next turn, but okay, killed that. That's fine. Um, this is three damage. You know what? We'll be able to do this with the with the cap cannon next turn. So I'm I'm not gonna do this yet. This does die. So. Fana Una, we're making nine. Cause the little sunflower. Love that. Hopefully, you just play some more cards that die in, die in cap. There you go. There's one. Keep it coming. He's going to get us probably a small pet card that's a little bit buffed and is not going to end up with more than... Okay, that happens. And that's probably lethal. You would need to roll... Oh, I don't think we super right now. Six, 
definitely happens. I think we're going to play a Sunflower. Uh, this again, he needs to roll double threes. I don't want to shoot him in the face and then he rolls double threes. And... Yeah, let's, let's just do this. Nailed him. That's, and if he blocks, if he rolls double three and blocks, we'll just we'll just do this to his face. So, and he's dead. Got him. So that's again another way for this deck to win. This deck, deck, deck has has like so many ways to win. Um, we haven't even done the Briar Rose way, which is just a totally a totally another way to win, where you just controlled up the heck out of them with Briar Rose. Um, this deck is not bad. This deck is fifty percent legendary, which is the most. Probably I've ever done in a serious deck, actually. Um. <laughs> the way we won there was by ramping up to Colonel Corn. We well first you first we Pine Clone, then we Colonel Corn. There's gonna be one more first you Briar Rose, then you Colonel Corn. There's basically you have to cut off with something in the four slot, and then there's something in the late game. Sometimes just Molecal is the late game. This deck is a little bit crazy. Okay. Uh, I don't see the, the this working yet. Oh, okay. We need okay. We need two ramp cards and a Briar Rose and this. I'm gonna get rid of Molokel for now. Don't need two of these. This is fine. This is okay. Now, not starting. Off, we could really use a good one drop. Please don't give me garbage. There you go. Okay. I'd love to start off with my super at some point. I guess. I guess we do this. I guess we do this. Sit. Probably actually gonna end up playing this right here. Ramp means getting extra sun every turn. So you ramp up. You ramp up to the sky. To the sky. There you go, he commits. Which gives us the luxury now of playing this if we want to. Now we could go with this too. Um. Let's see here. If we play the Twin Sunflower, we'll have five next turn. Does five really give us a huge advantage with a weak tw Twin Sunflower in the field? Is he going to want to cover this with an environment next turn? Four is basically just as good. What do we do with five? Nothing really. It'll make this possibly be a thing after with the Colonel Corn. The Colonel Corn could really take over this game. He could buff this up. There's a lot of things that could go wrong if we play Twin Sunflower, so I'm gonna go with this. If he doesn't cover it with an environment, we'll be able to get Cop Cannon on turn four, so. What is this deck's weakness? Um, it seems like the crazy class, which is the meta, it actually is a weakness. But it could be that's one reason why. I think if they're able. Okay, the first weakness of the deck is Immortitia and Brainstorm because of their summoning powers. They both have like double summoning powers and they, that's very good at killing all the little sunflowers. It really stunts the early game of this deck. It gives the opponent a huge advantage. Um, it seems like really aggro decks is kind of hard for us to control. Um, we're we'll able to get a second, the, the Colonel Corn next turn now, or we'll, we'll take out the, the big threat again. This, this Con Man's doing one damage per turn bullseye, which is significant, but it's not that significant. Now it's doing three. Okay, so we're going to be able to, this again, this bites the dust. We'll be able to nerf this, protect the Briar Rose. It's just going to be Cobb Cannon and three in the back of playing three. And we'll, and we'll, 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 we'll shoot this down with the Cobb Cannon. I... I mean, there's there's a couple other plays actually. We could go. There's another cop guy. There's a bunch of things we could do. He's probably gonna go after the Briar Rose here. That's fine. That's very fine. This is the play. So this gets nerfed. This guy becomes a one-one again. He's doing a lot of damage to us, but. This sunflower, you know, becomes a thing again. I maybe should have put the cop cannon in front, just in case he covers this environment, which he probably will. You know, we'll have six anyway. Eh, this is fine. Actually, no, he doesn't kill the sunflower. My bad. He says zero attack. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Woo! Okay, yeah, that was it was the right play. The sunflower is better. <clears throat> so now we have another. Again, we're we're down to six, which against this deck is not a lot of health, especially with all this garbage. What are we doing? Stop the madness. We're actually gonna double up here, and we have to destroy this con man before anything bad happens. Or we have a lot of damage. <laughs> this dies. So this will proc the blob. We're gonna kill this one. 
Uh, we're gonna hit him for 12 this turn. Uh, Briar Rose is safe. This will proc the block at best. Nobody expects by He's down to 5 now, which is good news. More sport, definitely not. Can use this defensively, maybe, but this lane is a problem, though. I don't like this. Binary star is here wins, you're right. What's that? Four one and one. Gonna try to prop the block using that. This is, you know, plumber to face. No, it doesn't win. Close. That's what I can do. Which region of Toronto do I live in? I live in North York. That happened. Looking for something. We got Witch Hazel. We could win right here. In fact, we usually win. And there's nothing that this is going to help. It's probably Gravestone or Deadly. Deadly. It doesn't help. He'll do three damage to us here, but... Uh, yeah, that's good. Got him. Lethal! That's why I played the Morse Spore, by the way. I wanted to do three damage with Briar Rose. Um, hit him with the Morse Spore to proc his block, and then kill him with the second Briar Rose. Sorry, I didn't actually speak that out, but... That was the way that was supposed to go. And, you know, he doesn't... He just has Infinity Clones, which could have saved him. Doesn't really help. And it's only a 50-50 of it saving him. A 1-3 of getting it. So that was virtually... Guaranteed lethal. You live in Markham. That's not so far away. It's like an hour and a half drive. Cool. Blorple. If you want to hit me up on Facebook, maybe we can get... I get together sometimes with people uh, in like board game cafes and stuff like that. Fry him up on Facebook. Anyone who lives in the greater Toronto area. Check it out. This is a great starting hand. This is the traditional perfect starting hand for the deck. You want a... Primal Sunflower, a environment, a Briar Rose, and then a Cobb Cannon. We're gonna sack this because it's too much heat, and this will be able to ramp right to the Briar Rose. So we're, we're gonna use this as the control instead of the ramp. See you later. Wait, Z-Mech. Z-Mech is actually a, a real force against this deck. You know, Gravestones are good against this deck. No zombies run Gravestone decks, though. There's no, there's no Gravestone culture. These can both get killed, but this is more likely, so let's 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 seriously ramp here. Fry, how are you so good? Uh practice. Just been playing card games my entire life. It started with Pokemon trading card games, that was my first one. I started playing that when I was nine or ten. And uh it's it's been a thing ever ever, ever since, yeah. That's fine. I feel like this is just going to get lightning bolted if we put it in in that lane. I would like to make another sunflower here, but what if he supers this? That's not so good. Alright. Let's see what he's got. I'd like the Briar Rose to live here, so... You know, escape through time is the typical thing. Now I might lightning cast him. Playing around that. That sucks. I'd like the Briar Rose to live here. We'll, we'll play a couple of flowers to try to control him. This is gonna be a hard. This is a really hard matchup. Dang, he's growing. <laughs> yeah, the, the lull looks like me for some reason. It's funny. I think if I lose another 20 pounds, it's not gonna look like me anymore. It really doesn't. This actually looks like I, I when I, I, I mean, last year I was about 20 pounds heavier than I am, which actually looked a lot more like me. I think actually. Keep going here. Things can be good. We're taking so much heat. Not cool. Havana, Una, not. Let's see where this ends up. Perfect. Mm-hmm. I actually like to kill these. 
And we'll make the sunflower. We'll make the one instead of the two. Let's make a difference. We'll have six next turn anyway. A plumber would be incredible. Escape through time wouldn't do very much. That doesn't help. Okay, he's doing that just to buff the cards in his hand. Which is fine. I would do that to the 3-3, three, three, though. Why not do that to the 3? This is going to die anyway. Why is he protecting? He thinks these are not going to die. This looks like a really novice move here. Why is he not protecting the one that it actually matters? That's what he got. Are you seriously kidding me? He got Conga? Come on, man! Really? That is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. Come on, man! What a what a dumb, what a numbskull play by that guy, and it's just called dumb luck. Are you kidding me? Dude, we still have the cob cannon, but that makes his stomping on live now. Come on, man! What a piece of trash garbage that was. What the heck was that? We're gonna lose the game because that just happened. That is how this is going. What the heck was that? Are you kidding me now? Are you seriously kidding me? What a piece of trash garbage. Holy moly with that. I don't even know what to do now. I think we might actually just let this happen. I didn't really think about it too much. I should have put this here. And then, I don't know. I don't want him getting another shot of the stomp down because then we're through. I think we're just gonna weather the storm a little bit here. Anyway. So stupid. This is the game we're gonna lose. I think we could have came back. If he would have killed the stomp down, then we could have killed a bigger card this turn. He wouldn't have this con man now. I'm I'm telling you that that was the game right there. And he's gonna actually win the game right here. Yeah, that's lethal. Got him. Got me. <laughs> that's actually lethal now. That was the stupidest thing. That was so dumb. Really? It's a highlight, but salty highlight. Stupid. How dumb was that? <laughs> You know, whoever knew the highlights would come on the other side here. Keep it going. Alright, let's down as we So dumb. That was game four and... Escape. Leap. Conga. For the frickin' win. Cannot believe that happened. Saltiest Moments compilation. Two of these is a little overkill. That's fine. Two molecules? Eh, maybe it's good. He's a rank 10 guy. This might work out marvelously. I'll probably just turn to Kanga anyway. So dumb. That wasn't just good RNG. That was dumb. That's called dumb luck. Dumb freaking luck. Okay, we have three molecules. This is very nice. Turns into a long dancing sound, but yay! He gets fossil head, the best one. No, not dancers! No! Dancers is so good against this deck, against the early game. How are we gonna win now? Don't play a minion. I need this. I'm not gonna get it. No play. Plumbering our face. He's gonna just run out of steam. That's how we're gonna win. Come on, Scorch, please. All right, one and two, let's go. Let's that. That's actually, that might be the best case scenario. I kind of wanted one of these to, to live so we can molecule it, but we're gonna get the sunflower now. Uh, one drop would be nice here. We're gonna have to just start moleculing and hope for the best. Ooh, Briar Rose, <laughs> maybe not. 
Oh, we're actually doing really well now. Our opponent doesn't have a lightning bolt power, which is the good news. Unlike the party, typical... Our opponent has a plumber. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> the Havana song is stuck in my head, come on. The next one is the... Whatever. Die. Die. Alright, we're in great shape now, actually. Uh, we're making six. We'll probably go for the first molecule. We're just gonna molecule the rest of this game. We're gonna molecule this man to the sky. Bump, ba da da ba da da ba da ba da boom, boom. Yep, molecule's amazing here. <laughs> um, I guess a three drop is better than a molecule. There are some threes that have one health. That's like Go! Molecule number one! Incoming! We'll make a sunflower next turn, too. Uh, did we make six? Yes, yeah, so we draw a card. This is so good. Astrocado is one of the best things. I'm happy. I'm super happy getting vanilla here. The vanilla bane. Super happy with that. That was a great, that was a great molecule. Okay, so this does die, unfortunately. It would have been nice to get a two that actually lives. Rather than just drawing a card, because we're... Well, actually, no, now we have a place to put them all again. That's actually the best-case scenario. Oh, that died. Oh, it did five damage and it died. Oh, oh well. <laughs> oh, well. All right, we can still evolve these ones now. Uh, ooh, we got three and four now. That's pretty good. No! <laughs> Die. It's fine. That's all right. And we're going to be able to Kernel Corn next turn. Then maybe Molecule will turn after that. Dun 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 ba da 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 dun. Uh, do you want a Kernel Corn next turn? Yeah, maybe. Well, it's in the box. I'd actually like this Molecule to die. Oh, <laughs> maybe. Oh, we got team ups. That's nice. Oh, no, we don't. Uh, come on, we got this card. Why did we get a Water Chestnut? Stupid. No, he's just gonna kill us again. <laughs> Oh, he conceded. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> he didn't like his... He could have played Soldier Boy the next turn. It would have been a 10 for 1. I don't know. Hello, Vanilla. My old friend. I remember back in set 1, I was trying to tell people how good Vanilla was as a control card. It's a 3-3. Three, 3-3s three. Three threes on turn 3 were good. 3-3s three actually aren't as good on turn 3 anymore. Because the main threats that you want to deal with on turn 3 are what? It's Con Man, maybe. A leftover Con Man. Um... Sports Imp, you know, Team Mascot, what's it called, dude? Stompadon, obviously, so. Three threes aren't so ay ay anymore. This is nice, but. That's a decent starting hand. The Sunflower is quite good. I think we'll get rid of the environment. Because these are actually. This is a hero without any small removal. Oh, no, we can get rid of that. Nice, perfect starting hand. It's a hero that doesn't, doesn't have any way to small remove or field clear, which is actually amazing in our case. Yeah, now we have a 2 cost 3-3, three, three, right? 3 cost 3-3s three, three aren't good because Fireweed is a 2 cost 3-3. Three, three. It's a crazily good. I want to run Fireweed in this deck. It would probably would actually make this deck better. It's a flower. You should just run Fireweed in every deck. What is this? Sebi Ball. The heck is that? Anyway, don't have much to say in the matter. Ooh, do I do this? I might just Maul kill next turn. Okay, so what is this going to be? It's either going to be, if it's Ice Pirate, it's good. If it's uh, the other Pirate, Swashbuckler, it's fine. Drone Engineer, this is kind of bad. I'm going to... I'm going to pass for now. Drone Engineer. Okay. You can actually more spore molecule if you want. Okay, so we're making, I think, six on this turn. You can just do this. That'll be good. Wow, we have, uh, like, three good plays. What's the play here? Kanga? No, it can't be Kanga. Now what? I 
like to molecule this one next turn. Why the heck not? What you gonna do, man? What you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? Bring it out. Now you're a 2 3. No one cares. He's gonna beat me up. That's what he's gonna do. He's gonna keep me. Chop! Come on, man! And beat me up? Alright. Um, this is turn 4, but we're gonna be making 7. That'll be nice. Me came me far down. Ew, comments? There's Maul Killing. We could have fun just Maul Killing this guy right now. Science. Alright, so I think it's going to be Briar Rose Twin Sunflower. Takes us out. I think this is the play. He didn't have Beam Me Up last turn, so I assume he doesn't have one this turn. We'll Maul Kill eventually. Mushroom Plank Clone Spam. It could work, actually. It, it'll kill Stompadon, too, if you ramp. See, we could do this deck that we concentrate much more on the Pine Clones and actually run more early game and... Run a fourth pine clone and stuff. I was thinking anyway, bring that back. Oh. Ooh. Oh. We're in great shape. I think we stop right. Briar Rose cost. Briar Rose should be a five cost card. It's so OP. So, <laughs> especially in this deck. Let's see what we get here. I mean, it could be we'll get something huge. Oh man. Maybe just this, this, and this. Or we could Briar Rose and she save a Briar Rose. I think let's let's just get get it going here. No wait, I don't know if we more spore it doesn't work. No, we can't play Molecule then. Uh Briar Rose Molecule? Is that stupid? I think Briar Rose is better here. Maybe it isn't. I don't know what the right play. I know the fun play is to Molecule here. What's the right play though? All right, let's go for funsies. I don't even care. <laughs> Sometimes I just don't care. Give me something good. Cool bean. Cool bean. And I got. Re we got. What the heck is this? We got, <laughs> we got two, we got Cool Bean, and then we got two Gatling Peas here. What just happened? Okay, he unfroze that, so good, we have a play now for next turn. We got Cool Bean? That is insane! We're gonna win now! We're gonna win right now, that grows. Come on, hit him in the face! Nailed him! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, paid off. <laughs> I did that play for fun. I did it for fun, you guys. All right, that'll be a good intro. <laughs> uh, that was good. Game six and... <laughs> Wow, we. Well, kill, highlight. I didn't what? The only game we've lost so far. I, I like this. I just took out one pine clone and we're good. I was getting too many pine clones when I was running four, and it was a liability because you know, then you have to pine clone, or else pine clones are being a dead card. It wasn't good. This isn't bad. We're not really going to be able to get field cleared. Do I get rid of one of these? Oh, I guess I do. <laughs> now, do I get rid of this one? Um. Havana, Una, na. Oh, perfect starting hand. Hey, this is the exact pro. Wow, and this. Okay, it does not get any better than this starting hand. Primal, you want to go right to the environment, to Briar Rose, and then to Cop Cannon. Great starting hand. Can I revive Control Nightcap? Not in today's meta. Uh, control's not gonna. Not the control, especially Nightcap, doesn't have a way of controlling the good 
Zombie decks. The good zombie cards you need to control are Conman and Stompin' On nowadays. And Blob, maybe. Mostly just Conman. There's no way to really control Conman. How do you control Conman? You give them cards with Pumpkin, or they're still benefiting. Havana, Una, Na. We can actually super environment next turn. Will be amazing, actually. Watch him use watch him use his super superpower on this on this two one. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Do it, do it, man. It's worth it. I'm gonna ramp up. Just use your super, <laughs> and don't save it for Briar Rose, which is definitely gonna come after this card. Oh, you have a brown. What is this? Molecule's lying around his eyes as a mask? No, it's a unibrow, I think. It's not a mask. I think that's his mouth. What is the line around Molecule's eyes? It's not a smile. What what is what is Molecule? What's going on with that circle around his face? You can kind of see the card there. Is it a mask? Oh, it's like goggles, because it's a molecule, so it's... Maybe it's goggles. He does look like a smile. It looks like he's... That looks like... We're, we're going to take a closer look the next time we get a molecule. This is very important, you guys. It does look like a smile. It looks like a grin. It's uh, that. It doesn't actually look like a smile, now that you mention it. It looks like goggles or something. I don't think it's a mask. Is he roping? All right, let's talk some SH1T here. He didn't do anything there. This man is such a dude. Do -do -do. No, don't leave the game, you guys. Against ropers, never ever leave the game. Make them pay for it. Kill them. Make them spend their whole day losing. That's the way you kill the kill ropers. Okay, we're not gonna count that one. Fry hard. You're sick. Ah, oh, feel better. Oh, spit here. We have to figure this out. What the heck is this? Come on. What is it? What is the thing around Molecule's eyes? I have to ask the developers this. This is a very important question. It looks a little like a smile, but now that you mention it, it's not a smile. Why does he have that thing around his eyes? <laughs> He's got the French laugh down. Pretty, pretty darn good. It's definitely not a smile. Look at his eyes. His eyes are not smiling. They're glaring. It's not a smile, you guys. What is it? Why does he... Maybe his face just looked too empty without that line, so they just said, eh, just stick a line in there. You're right, Maxi Kings. <laughs> it does look like a grin on the card animation, though. When he's moving around, you can tell his eyes are, like, not... He's not... Doesn't have smiley eyes, you know? Sebi Ball, again. To control Nightcap is not good, so no. Is there a point in trying to go the Molecal route here? I don't think so. We have no choice. You know what? Molecaling this 3-drop really isn't bad. Woo-woo-woo! That's what I'm talking about. You always want this not to get acid rain. Usually the lane for this is lane 1. You want just a lot of empty lanes to play this in. And, uh, usually your, your cop cannons you want in either lanes 2 or 3, typically. I haven't really seen a lot of amphibious zombies lately, because everyone's just been playing crazy heroes. When you play it, watch, it opens up? Really? Oh, we're gonna have to pay attention. Maybe it does, you're right, the animation. Okay, we're, we're, this is the investigation. We're winning every game anyways, so no one cares. What the heck is that? Really? Havana, una, na. That is so annoying in the face of the moon. Is there a point in wasting this card here? Man, we got Malt Pine Clone too. Ugh. This is a purely ramp play. And that being a 1 1 might come, really come in handy too. Maybe it is a mouth. We're gonna have to pay attention when the. Uh, <laughs> next time we play Malt, yeah. I did it for the plus one sun. I hope I get a one drop here, because then we can get three pine clones and then molecule them. 
Come on, one drop. No. Ooh. Not bad. I don't think we're gonna. We could pine clone here. Yeah, that's worth it. Baby, it's worth it. This will die first. It might deadly something, which is fine. We'll get a sunflower back. Uh, so this was turn three? So on four we'll have five. Still can't cap cannon. Smoke bombs that. It's okay. It, it makes us do three three damage. It's kind of better than him barrel barreling there. Or actually, this lives now. Ooh, we're in really good shape. So I, I, I'd say let's molecule. I think so. What are we making now? We're making five. Ooh. A one wouldn't be bad here. That took a really long time to spawn. Oh, I think Doctor Who was busy. Oh, we do have six. Oh, never mind. Oh, because we use super. I forgot that we use super. Oh, wow. No, we're, we're gonna cob cannon. Never mind. Well, cob cannon, probably here. This pine clone dying is okay. I'd love to evolve this. This is a great one to evolve. We could actually make Pine Clone live and then kill this one, re reduce our Sunflower, or we could make seven next turn. So we'll have a three drop anyway, which we evolve, but then it costs another card instead of getting a two. So instead, we'll just Mall Kill next turn. This is weird, but we're actually not going to take advantage of the thing. We're, I would rather preserve the Pine Clone, for, since we're definitely going to Mall Kill next turn. In fact, this also does 9 damage to his face now. Which is amazing. Okay, this got discounted. That's fine. So we're doing 9 now to his face, as opposed to only doing 3 this turn. Which is a huge... Okay, that's fine. This Everything lives. Again, he's just got... Wait! That only had 1 health? Oh, that got... Oh, that only had 1 health thing. Okay. Alright. So, Molokel's still better. Oh. Wait, oh, now we can do this again. <laughs> or we can cop can it. Wow, we got a lot of options now. I Oh, <laughs> you like. Oh, that was amazing. Ooh, he plays a big one. Maybe I'll just go with the cop cannon again. I definitely could. Havana Una Na. This is the pet he got, I guess. Uh -huh. In Havana. Havana. I think Cow Can is the play and kill this. I'll probably win this turn. I usually do. I'm gonna freeze everything on the ground. Molecule? <laughs> you guys, Molecule? For Fine, for funsies, we'll do Molecule. Fine. Fine, I'll do Molecule. Four, four with splash damage? Usually not. Fine, I'll do Maul Kill. The chat's requesting Maul. We're gonna win this game anyway. Give me something good! And we got Soul Patch, that's nice. Oh, drew a card. Oh, this 2 6 is pretty good. Okay, I got one of these. We're drawing another card. We're drawing two cards here. Oh, we got a. Okay, so this becomes a 6 4. Oh, that's pretty good. Soul Patch isn't bad. Wow, this team up is really nice because now we can actually play another card next turn. This is a team up. Oh, team ups, we can even. <laughs> Actually, we'll anyway be able to do these two. Oh, that wasn't bad. Oh, did his mouth open? Dang, I forgot! I forgot to look. Why is he freezing this one? I don't know. Two damage? Okay, it kills Molecule. Piece of garbage. Just drew a bunch of cards there. Woo! <laughs> you think you're gonna damage me with your overshoot? Not even close. Not even close. Why Monster has got a deck here. Penskeen.com usually works. Girlie uses that. Okay, uh, okay, so we're making seven now. We got Sunflower and this. <laughs> I want another Molokale. <laughs> I want to make it Colonel Core. Is there any way to hard Mulligan for a card here? What the heck is that? We're gonna kill the shark. Kill the shark, kill the shark. Cause my name is Rob Starhart. Get out of here. Stuff out of here. <laughs> nice try. Nice try. Yo, dad. Stupid shark. 
All my expensive cards out here. Okay, I'm looking at this deck. Uh, aggro, aggro, aggro. You got some imps. This deck doesn't look half bad, actually. Um, that's actually a pretty good deck, even though it's a big hot mess. Uh, you actually have a very good aggro deck there, and you have a lot of ways to draw cards. It's like an aggro Z deck. Love that one. All right, we won. <laughs> We're six and one. <laughs> We're killing everyone. What did he do? He conceded? Oh, sorry, I wasn't paying attention to the end there. I was too busy raiding this person's deck. Did something weird just happen? What plant looks most like me? I don't know. The fry zombie looks like me. With the frying pan. Um, if the deadly zombie had overshoot, is the overshoot also deadly? Oh, uh, yes, yes, against, it would make a difference against, uh, Soul Patch, so it would, it would be dead. It would, Shark would also kill it, obviously. Um, looking for another ramp card, that's pretty good, Neptuna. Neptuner. Oh, sorry. It disappeared instead of updating. This deck is performing extremely well. Again, we've only had the one loss, and it was that really salty loss against that guy who got the Congo, which, anyway, that was a good matchup, but then he got... That Kanga ruined us, literally. He's bouncing that, which is fine. That's Neptuna's super coming out of their hands to be able to give us the... I mean, this we will just be able to play. We're not going to make it a spectacular play on turn two because of this ramp anyway. This is probably a sumo, actually. Havana, Una, na. Enjoy. <laughs> know your meta, guys. Move this to lane four. This is a good. This is a good player. I mean, lane four is correct because you wanna. You want this to be to the right of Briar Rose, because uh, since it's better for me to have Briar Rose to the right. He doesn't have really a way of buffing that up. What is he doing on three? Going viral doesn't help. Two healthy treats, but then what? If he double healthy treats here, take it. Three for one. No problem. No problemo. He goes viral. That's such a slow play, and he doesn't even kill this now. Come on. Not a good play. I'm super happy to use this. This will stay as a 3-1. Neptune has no real good way of dealing one damage. Um, we can always, we have plenty of ways of protecting this with sunflowers and stuff. There's Molecule. Oh man, we got all the three, three cornrows in our hand. Let's ramp, let's ramp the heck up. This is gonna be lie dancing zombie, but who oh no, it's gonna be Pogo. Uh, um. Oh, actually, look at the molecule mouth thing. Thank you. Someone just PM me that. Um, I think we want to kill. I think we want to kill the Pogo. So this will kill the Pogo. This is such a weird play. This is actually the weirdest play ever. I think it's Pogo. Let's go. Okay, look. Oh, his mouth opened. Yes, it is his mouth, you guys. I saw it. Did you guys see it? Okay, so this made. Come on. I oh, can't conjure a one drop. It's not bad. Trap. Oh, that was his play? Okay. Wow, we got a ramp card! <laughs> what just happened? There's no good trap! See the- oh, I think this was still fine. The Black IP dies a miserable death here. Um, but we got some ramp! This turns into a- into a sunnier shroom. Ooh. He's thinking about Gravestone, I think. This is my production. Man, another molecule would be good here. So now we have we have a bunch of plays now. We can cover this up. <laughs> we have the six sun. I don't think we're gonna do it. Thank you so much, P Mobile. Smiley face. Thank you so much. That is so generous. Twelve dollars. Wow. Hello, P Mobile. Thank you so much for your generosity, man. That's that's a big that's a big donation. Wow. Okay. Next to grave digger. Digger 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 digger. Now what did I do? Now what do we do? Oh, do I want to preserve this? I think we do actually. Havana una na. What do we do here? We want a kernel corn perhaps next turn? Actually, 
going to do this. Very weird play here. I might hit him in the face, too. Let's see what we get. I'm probably actually going to hit him in the face with this just so we can ramp up some more. Oh! Wait. Wow, that, that berry's good. Uh, I'm still doing this, though. Uh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely do something good with this berry, so this might die now. Ooh, maybe the berry was the play. I ran out of time on that play. We'll, we'll find something to evolve. We'll evolve it from the from this card or something. That's okay. That happens. And then I almost never go face with super, but I just want to ramp the heck up. This is going to make us two extra sun. Hold on. So, it's so hard to calculate all the sun. I don't even know what turn it is. Yeah, so we're going to be making nine now. We got Colonel Corn. As long as it doesn't mix up Gravedigger again, we're good. There's Shark. Havana, na, na, na. And we can f f cornucopia next turn. We can do a lot of stuff. I think that's gonna be this one. Oh no, this oh these die now. Oh, is there a way of killing this? Uh, maybe we should go for the kill instead. And 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 then forget about the cornucopia. I don't want these dying. Yeah, let's do this play. <laughs> it's a team up. It works. Look at that. He'll hit us for five. We very often win here. Our opponent is going to need super in order to save himself. This usually procs the block. We have eight damage, so it's super bust. No, I'm just All right, got him. <laughs> That's the right play. Nailed it. Trap, that's a good deck. Was that Control Neptuna? Oh, that was Control Neptuna. Oh, we just beat Control Neptuna. I wonder if this person saw the video. Oh no, maybe saw this. Who is this? I don't see it. Top speed? Anyway. Best. What's the best thing I ever got from Cornucopia? I have gotten one time in my life gotten another Cornucopia from Cornucopia. This is good. Good old Tuna bites with us. Uh, is this a good matchup against Control Neptune? I mean, we played a sumo on two. Kind of played in that whole game. <laughs> this deck is so much fun. This is actually more fun than the typical uh, Fuller Throttle Ramp deck. It's performing really well. Taking out three Pine Clones is, is the right amount. That, I was I was struggling with this deck, and I was actually getting Pine Clone too often. So, super happy about that. Again, I don't think you keep this in your starting hand. It's good later. Wow, we gotta get rid of all this ramp here. Come on. Give me something good. Don't give me all ramp. Okay. Turned out with slightly better than we started. This, again, Brainstorm is very good because he has two different powers which summon stuff. That is so annoying. Havana, no, no. Let's do this. Pimo, well, thank you again. Havana's a great song. <laughs> I know I'm singing it the whole thing. Thank you so much again, P-Mobile. Wow. You generous. Who are you? Do you watch the uh, YouTube channels? Where's Seedling? Oh, sorry. So much ramp, that's right. Is this going on YouTube? Oh, yeah. Eventually. Eventually. Ooh, what do we want now? Let's see what we get. That happened. Okay, so next turn, this is turn three. Next turn, we're gonna have seven. No, no. Next turn, we're gonna have six. Or five if we do this. We wanna go for the six on turn three. I think we're gonna still just ramp this guy to the Ice Age. Do we put this behind, though? Because then we can nerf this. The cop can will kinda always be better. I think, okay. I think this always happens. The question is, where does this go? I'm gonna do it here. Let's do it here. I'm gonna probably want the cob can to be in front here. And then we can molecule this on, on turn 5. We can actually do these two. Alright, Rose. Rose might be the play. I kinda wanna, like just nerfing this. This is all damage out of it. Let's see what he does now. Ho ho ho. 
Again, the commit is real. I might just go with Briar Rose now. Still going face with that. Killing this is good now, actually. Uh, so this always goes here. The question is, did he use a power yet? Eureka, Telepathy, Dancers, and Summoning. He did not, so we're gonna put this here, actually. We'll put it here. Because then if he kills one, we're still good. Yep. Molecule? No, not yet. Not yet, you guys. We'll, we'll get a good Molecule, don't worry. I like the team-up of the Sunflowers there. One will certainly die. It's nice to have it. Well, three's not good, because then it dies to summoning. Or to dancers. Dancers is still good here. Final missioning. Ooh, that's a good play. Interesting. Okay, decided to keep the con, man. Okay, we're making a lot here. Uh, we actually have Colonel Corn this turn. Into double Molecale. The heck? We have Colonel Corn into double Molecale Cornucopia, perhaps. Come on, play some little guys. There you go. Keep them coming. Uh, this is still fine. We'll do this. Uh, we want that to hit the hit the thing first. Okay, this is good. Double Molecale incoming into Cornucopia. Well, the Cornucopia is just going to make one minion, but it will great zucchini him Cornucopia. <laughs> we can do actually do this now. Teleport. Drawing cards so slow. Usually, I mean, uh, it depends what he gets on the block. Okay, he teleported bad and just to prevent that. Uh, this is fine. Wow, didn't block? <laughs> Goodbye, Egg. I don't know if it's going to be the best play. We're making nine. We can actually... Oh, man. Just for the heck of it. You know, anyway, these little sunflowers are going to end up being amazing, so... These little sunflowers. Let's just do it. <laughs> I don't care. Wee! There's a great zucchini. Oh, we get another card. Oh, that becomes an 8-1. That's okay. I think they're growing. And it's not a secret that Fry is a great guy, so how about a little dono train? <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, I guess we'll do it like this because wait, we can play the second molecule. Oops, my bad. Oh, it's still worth it. Wait, now we have an 8 1 on the field and a 7 7 and then teamed up and then all kinds of garbage. Oh no, this should have gone here, so prox the block. Uh, anyway, thank you so much again, P Mobile. Wow, it is so generous. Cannot even describe. Words can't describe. Man, that was three big donations in one day. Okay, that happened. Miss, yes. <laughs> He's tempted, okay. Oh no, he didn't kill anything. We need to make cornucopia. The dream's not real. I, I forgot. We needed a team up not to be. Man. You're donating euros. Thank you so much again. P Mobile getting it done. 10, 11, and 12. Really appreciate it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, actually, this can, oh, this can do this. Ha <laughs> ha Look at this go. Look at this play. There's Blob. Yeah, enjoy. Goodbye, Blob. Look at this cut. Look at this. We can kill this one. Okay, enjoy. Should we go for this one now? Oh, listen, we only need three damage. Okay, y'all are dead. And another one bites the dust. Okay, so the, the place he can blob is actually... <laughs> he could have actually won this turn. He could actually still win if he teleport. He has to have two teleports, though. Eh, he's not going to get it. This turns into teleportation zombie. That would be the highlight of the century. We're going to win. He needs two teleports now. Again, he could blob, bonus attack, bonus attack, and win. Nah, that's not going to help. He said teleport something into this and use that. That was a mistake. He must have some minion in his hand. What? What? He, wow! He got dead ghost! Are you kidding me? He got dead ghost for the win! He would not have won there! He got dead ghost on the leap! The 
chances of that are so low! What just happened? I cannot believe that is the second time that has happened to us today. Holy crap! Holy moly with that! Why? That was the worst! That was the couldn't con It was either Kong or a dead ghost. He could not have won there. What a piece of garbage! He had exactly with the teleport. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. That was so harsh. That is great. Crazy. What in the world just happened? Sorry, we're seven and two. I changed the score wrong. We're seven and two. That is the second time that has happened to us today. Come on, man. You're never safe against Blob. Never, ever safe. What insanity. No. Oh, my God. Wow, that is total insanity. The worst luck ever. I need to make a highlight video now. That was game nine and leap. It was leap again into dead ghost for the win. Crazy. What in the world just happened? That is so dumb. That is so stupid. You're right. Rooster, rats would have gotten it done. Kanga, ghost, and sumo. You're right. There were a bunch of that. I cannot even believe it. Sumo, was there a lane for the sumo there? That is still just dumb luck. Just stupidity. Absolute stupidity. I think we do this. He's just gonna t summon something into this lane. No, he's gonna maybe cover the lane. But he's gonna actually nebula here. Whatever. Missed lethal? I missed lethal, no way. Need to kill the 8 1, yeah. Crazy. That's a good clip. Thank you, Kimi. Yeah, I covered it. Oh, this, uh, this is gonna be an aggro deck. I thought it was gonna be Nebula now. Hmm. Uh, I think we molecule here. More spore molecule. Pretty good. Play aggro with aggro. It's pretty good here. Uh, three two, I believe, is better. Plus, we right, we're gonna get a second molecule next turn. Let's turn to a four. Get a couple of twos. Bananasaurus Rex, nice, nice. That's what I'm talking about. And we got enough damage to kill the to kill the uh, the, the 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 Moonwalker. Dang, got pet plumber. Harsh. Ah, that was my four drop too. Not, not great twos though. We'll revive it here. Actually, that's good because now we have, we weren't, we're actually gonna be able to. Oh no, this is team up. Anyway, there isn't a different play, right? That's nah, just molecule again. This Bananasaurus Rex is really good though. We'll have six next turn. Let's just do this. And what's in the box? Give me some good ones. Three nut. <laughs> Three nut buffs one card. <laughs> Breaking news. This is not good. We got horrible stuff again. Wow, this is horrible. We got worthless garbage on that molecule. Probably game losing right there. Who knows? It depends if he has a good deck. I don't know. It's, where did the smelly zombie come from? Okay. I wasn't even aware he could. 
Eh, if we stall enough, we'll... No, I don't need more late game, dude. Not what we need right now. Not what I need. It's not what I need. Maybe we'll sack this this turn. In order to get the Colonel Corn coming up. I think that's the play. Let's go try. Cool. Cool. Uh, Colonel Corn is amazing next turn. Can't kill the, the sunflower. He's doing a lot of heat here, but uh, we're okay. We're actually okay. I would like him to play one more minion that that'll die to this Colonel Corn. Then we'll really be in the money. Right. We have actually Colonel Corn back to back plays now. Turn seven Colonel Corn. Turn eight Colonel Corn. I, I, I think we're actually going to win this game. We got 7 and a full block meter. That's kind of better than 10. Especially when we're going to be hitting him for 6 at a six at a time. Ooh. Ooh. What if he teleports a kitchen sink or something? I don't want him doing a key though. Oh, man. You know, teleport kitchen sink wins. Darn. We could play around it by doing this play, but... Nah. Let's see what happens. Actually, right, it could be he was relying on the teleportation zombie for his teleport. Actually, he was probably planning on teleporting. It's very likely it's kitchen sink in his hand, but teleport kitchen sink, not so much. He had the teleportation zombie before this nebula. We're doing six damage to him here. Oh, will he hit or not? No. Wow, he missed both of them. That was harsh. What an rng y play there. Uh? Uh? There's no point in doing this, because the cop cannon is going to kill these anyway, so might as well preserve this card. We just need six damage here, so... Ooh, or we got Great Zucchini now. Is Great Zucchini going to be better? We'll, we'll just play the option. We do have Great Zucchini with this. Pretty cool. I guess we can involve uh, one of these. Or we have Cop Cannon. It's nice having those two options. <laughs> Not Cop Cannon, Colonel Corn. Oh, so Havana Una Na. I think it's Cobb Cannon and then Weed Whack this. He's gonna need to teleport into this lane, so... Uh, what if he teleports... No, he'd need two teleports then and not enough brains. Teleport minion, teleport that. Ah, this is fine. He probably has a teleport. This is fine. I think this goes here. Bonus attack, yeah. You wanna clog this lane since this is gonna be his operating lane. He could technically teleport in two minions right now and win. Hurry up. Colonel plus weed back. There you go, you guys. Spray the bottom. He could win here. It's doable. This is there's a couple of plays. Rocket. Oh, um. Now, let's see, this is teamed up. This is really nice, this lane's teamed up in this game. Got him, wow. So, again, this deck performed extremely, extremely well. Probably even better than the other one. There's so many ways of winning. Thank you again, P-Mobile. Man, this was a really, really fun stream. I'm super happy this worked out. We lost two games. One of them was to leap Kanga for the win, and the other one was to leap freaking Dead Ghost for the win. So, that was great. Hope you guys enjoyed. This was not only Highlight City, not only an rng y really luck deck, City, but it performed extremely well, and we we really did some combos that we've never done before, which is mall kills on big minions. I've really never pulled that off. <laughs> Didn't see any dragons today yet, but uh, <laughs> maybe next time. We did get a great zucchini. Anyway, guys, peace. This is Fry. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you next time.